So what I see a lot of the time in the coaching industry is that people that are wanting to be coaches tend to focus so much on trying to have all the information, right? All the strategies, all the insights to sound really smart. But coaching for the most part is about empathy and compassion. And the reason why we want to use empathy and compassion when you coach is because it supports your clients to feel safe. If your clients feel safe, then they're going to be able to navigate their feelings and emotions sooner than later. And that's what you want. If you want to have a powerful, effective coaching session, you want your client to feel safe in that space with you to open up and to be vulnerable. Now, with that comes great responsibility, right? So your clients can sometimes be sensitive to the way that you're showing up in it. That's why we get to uh, be very attentive and aware of the feelings and emotions that are coming up in your client. Now, you got to remember, sometimes clients, when they're sharing from a place of, of vulnerability, this may be the first time they've done this with anybody. So it's a very sacred thing that you get to experience. So it's about honoring that, respecting that, and being in the space with that person as they navigate through their struggles. So one way to be able to really show uh, compassion and empathy is to acknowledge their emotions. What you want to do is you want to recognize and validate your client's emotions, even if you don't necessarily share the same feelings. And that can happen sometimes. You might not be able to fully relate to what your client is feeling, but reflecting back the language and paraphrasing their words shows that you're listening and that you can hear what they're talking about. Okay, You don't have to fake it. You can just say, oh, okay, I hear that you're struggling with ABC, whatever it is. I hear that you're feeling hurt around this particular uh, event, right? Another thing you could do as well to become more uh, compassionate and empathetic is put yourself in their shoes. I find myself often challenging my own thought when I'm coaching clients to put myself in my client's shoes. You want to try to understand their situation from their perspective and you want to see things from their point of view. Okay. So this is a good practice to get into. And after a while, it will just become very natural for you. Another way to be able to build compassion and empathy is by practicing avoiding judgment. Sometimes my clients will say things and I sometimes feel within myself like, oh, I probably wouldn't view it in that way or, or I don't necessarily believe that. Uh, but you want to refrain from criticizing and judging your clients because they are doing the best they can with what they have up until now, right? Until they learn something different or they have a different way of looking at things. Sometimes you may not fully agree, but criticizing and judging your clients is going to get them to what we call a turtle back in and, and not feel safe to be vulnerable with you. And then there's no progress in your coaching sessions. So instead, you want to focus on their strengths. You want to uh, help them to be able to see the opportunities for growth and improvement uh, rather than staying in the story of whatever it is uh, that is challenging them. The next thing you can do is just simple and, and plain and right down the middle, it's encouragement, right? Letting them know that you believe in them and that you're there to help them to achieve their goals. Sometimes this is what somebody needs because they don't so much believe in themselves, but if they have somebody in their corner that believes in them, that could be that little like leg up, right? And eventually you can't be the only one believing in them. They need to also believe in themselves too, right? But sometimes some people need a little bit of encouragement. What you can do in your coaching sessions is you can share your own experiences. That's another way to be compassionate and empathetic. But just a little like sidebar disclaimer here, do not make the session about you. I see coaches do this often. They share so much about themselves and then that hour or 45 minutes of their session with their client has flown by and the whole session has been about the coach rather than the client. So where you can just share your experiences here and there, but don't revolve around it too much. Just utilize it as a way to be able to show your clients that they're not alone and that you've also experienced this too. Uh, you can also practice patience. Okay. So being patient with your clients and, and allowing them to work through their challenges at their own pace is crucial in coaching because you're not the driver. You're sitting in the driving uh instructor seat, but your client is the one that is sitting next to you that has the steering wheel. 
every now and then you can put the brakes on every now and then you can guide and direct and if they need to pull over they pull over but you're not the one that's driving the whole thing right yes you're leading where you get to lead but if you're constantly taking the wheel they're never going to be able to learn okay so having patience knowing that they're on a journey that may be a little bit slower than yours uh maybe they just haven't learned the things that you've learned that's why they're coming to work with you right so practicing patience you also want to use appropriate body language so something as simple as just eye contact like uh uh-huh uh-huh like just not over the top but like yeah you know like i'm acknowledging that you're sharing things with me and not being distracted right like not picking up your phone if you're on a zoom session not sitting there typing away while your client is listening to you you know that can be very frustrating i've had clients actually complain to me about past coaches they've worked with saying they didn't feel that that person was empathetic or compassionate because they were constantly distracted right and they just felt like this coach just wants money from them uh, another thing you could do is just use positive reinforcement right when something goes really well in the session just saying like hey this is awesome like let's celebrate your success or like let's highlight the things that you did really well that's a great way to do it uh be flexible and adaptive as well as a coach that's really really key you want to be able to recognize that every client is unique in their needs and they also have different preferences from from one client to another and you want to be able to be flexible and adaptable in the way that you you coach and really just approach each individual just know that everyone's different so you may feel like you you can step in stronger with some clients and other clients maybe you you got to like pace it yourself as you lead because they may not be used to tough love or <laughs> or disciplinary like you know commit like some people for example some people they come to me say you know Joe I really love when you can like get me structured and and lovingly kick my ass they say you know and then some people they're a bit sensitive to that you know maybe they had a parent that was like that and they didn't feel that was safe right so just gauge it with each person be flexible and be adaptive and the last one is you can use humor sometimes i'll like put on like a you know like a little crazy voice and i'll, I'll like imitate somebody uh, or i'll share like a really funny story of something that i experienced in the past just to break the ice you know maybe i'll uh use some examples like analogies and metaphors that really paint a, like a really interesting or like funny comedic picture about how men and women are different or uh how we can be uh you know in our ego or whatever it may be right so it's good to be able to use humor uh when it's appropriate obviously the whole session isn't going to be like a a humorous session uh but you can bring it in now and then it really just like breaks the ice makes it feel like it's fun and exciting as they're on their growth journey so these are the ways that you can be compassionate and empathetic as a coach and in turn this will allow for your clients to feel supportive supported yeah that's the word supported you're the supportive one they are supported <laughs>